Well, last night we talked to Senator Jacinta Price about the issues in Alice Springs and how residents have been coming together to urge governments at all levels to stop kicking them around and solve the problem. Community spirit in action, you would think, right? Well, that's not the way the ABC saw it. Have a listen to who they decided to talk to in a report about that town hall. Many locals soon left, some frustrated, others in tears. It was really a disgusting show of white supremacy. The tension and violence and the anger in the room was really palpable and it was clearly all around white supremacy and the safety of white people in this town. And I am way more concerned about the danger posed by those people in there, those white people that have a choice where to live here, than vulnerable Aboriginal children whose connection to this country cannot be broken. I think that what we saw tonight at what was ostensibly called a community meeting was a very effective and clever attempt to stir up rhetoric um, to unite people around the cause of continuing to criminalise very vulnerable people. I'm talking about some of the young people and we know that they're some of the most vulnerable and, and, and traumatised people in the country. A lot of racism that's happening, that happens, that's put on to us. They want to, they, they need to blame someone. Yep, all that violence and all the complaints about the violence is just nothing but a bunch of white supremacists worried about property damage. And for the record, by the way, the ABC in that report did not talk to any of the other 3,000 people, according to one estimate, who attended the meeting. Now, I spoke to the mayor of Alice Springs earlier today, Matt Patterson, and he told me that he was shocked by the report. He accused the ABC of lighting the flame of a race war. And he told reporters today that the report couldn't be further from the truth. Have a listen. We are all in this together. The whole community's feeling the pinch and the whole community wants to see action. So we don't need unnecessary articles that are factually incorrect to be posted around the country. And again, I call on the chair of the ABC to retract the comment and put out a public apology to the community of Alice Springs. Well, good luck with that, because so far as we can tell, that report was all fine by the ABC, whose code of conduct requires it to tell all sides of the story. A spokesman for the ABC told me today that the ABC's long-running reporting on the issues facing Alice Springs has included a range of perspectives and will continue to canvas people's views and experiences as coverage continues. Great. Well, your tax dollars at work, hey?